Hello and welcome to our review of the financial markets. As expected last week, operators were on a risk-on mood. With the exception of the OPEC Plus meeting, everything was quite smooth. Investors focused again on the size of the fiscal stimulus. Even US unemployment figures came better than expected, while job creations showed some slowdown. Strange, but not enough to change the trend. And eventually, OPEC Plus merely decided to gradually increase oil production next quarter. The prevailing sentiment at the moment is bad news anyway, is good news, because it will push central banks and governments to be even more generous. This week, major events will come from Europe. The European Central Bank will disclose its decision on the size of the monetary program on Thursday. This is all the more important as Poland and Hungary are fighting against budget disbursement rules. If no agreement is reached on the 11th of December, a dramatically smaller budget could be passed. After the announcement of a massive plan in October, the European Central Bank cannot disappoint. A lower than 500 billion euro additional monetary stimulus could significantly impact the current optimism trend. All the more so, since with a strong euro and the likely return to recession in the euros in the next quarter, the central bank has full-fledged power to significantly increase its program. Apart from this event on Thursday, deadline on Brexit talks is foreseen on the 11th of, the, of December 2. The week will also be marked by the potential approval in the USA of Pfizer's vaccine after the authorization in Great Britain last week. Senior US officials have already confirmed that they will be vaccinated when medical authorities approve its distribution. European leaders have no other choices than delivering market expectations to avoid a massive turn back on the euro and European equity markets. While we can expect Christine Lagarde to deliver, we can be less optimistic on Brexit and the budget approvals. Stay tuned for our next roundup and have a nice week ahead.